The I-Team investigation of a multi-million dollar train and bus station under downtown Cincinnati is getting some results tonight. State legislators asked for a tour of the $48 million Riverfront Transit Center because of our report. Nine News anchor Brendan Keefe was there when elected officials demanded answers today. Brendan? Clyden Carroll, State Representative Dale Mallory wanted to see for himself what many people didn't even know existed before we took our cameras under 2nd Street. With the Cincinnati media in tow, Representative Mallory boarded a metro trolley, the only bus inside the transit center all day. On most days, the Riverfront Transit Center is completely empty. No buses, no trains, just an empty station three-fourths of the year. But not today. A lone metro trolley brought two state legislators, several officials, and the Cincinnati media inside the eight-and-a-half-year-old transit center few people have ever seen. This is a major disappointment. This is a major disappointment. The center is beautiful, lined with mosaic and bronze artwork. But as we showed in our I-Team report, the center is rusting and in need of repair. Representative Dale Mallory was literally peeling rust off the transit center walls. I saw the, the report and I was a little, a little shocked. And now that I'm here, I'm more shocked. The city and Metro are paying for those repairs with parking revenue, renting out the approach aprons. Representative Mallory asked why the construction company isn't covering repairs, but the city's transportation director told him the original contractor who built all this has gone out of business. Out of business. Just how big is the transit center? That's what's so difficult to show. I'm standing nearly halfway down this tunnel. It's a half mile long, 84 feet wide, and two stories high. It's a massive facility. Certainly everyone wants to see an investment used to its fullest, and we are looking forward to the future when there are more buses that need to use this facility. This thing took a long time to build. It's been here empty for a long time. I think we used up all the forward thinking. Anytime someone has questioned the massive transit center, Metro has answered, just you wait. The 375,000 annual passengers projected by 2010 have not materialized, and the estimated 60,000 school kids a year don't use the Freedom Center's dedicated underground entrance. The buses use Second Street on top. Metro now points to another future rail project currently on the drawing board. If the Eastern Corridor Rail that's being discussed right now comes to fruition, the facility is built to accommodate that here in the tunnel. Representative Mallory says the $48 million transit center was built on a foundation of maybes. This cannot exist in a tight economy and in this political climate. This cannot exist. This is, this is insane. And Metro officials said they were happy to give the tour to clear up any misconceptions. To that, Representative Mallory asked what in our I-Team report was inaccurate. Metro answered, nothing. We had called his brother, Mayor Mark Mallory, for reaction after our initial investigation. But the mayor refused to comment, saying it wasn't built on his watch. The transit center is operated by Metro, but completely owned by the city. The mayor wasn't aware. Representative Mallory says he will work with the city manager to make sure this aging and empty asset is used to its fullest potential in the future. Clyde? Simply amazing, Brendan. Good work. Thanks.